I sing to my friends goats that are named after squash. On top of spaghetti and under a corn, a goat named zucchini is feeling forlorn. I took all the grain from the goat with the horn, and now they are watching square eyes full of scorn. I love that zucchini, I tap it in tea. You're my favorite meatball, but I'd eat you with cheese. Printer test poem number one. Back to the old ways. Turns out if you jam a squid in a shoebox, it won't print your English paper. Nobody wants to work anymore. Rocky sold his dog and you can too. Filmmakers from New York and LA swarm the small theater to explain how to make it big. Some people just aren't willing to leave their loved ones to gamble in dystopian America to be a background character in someone else's life, they explain. I went home to cuddle my cat who I wouldn't trade for a million dollars. How could I sleep at night not knowing I could simply buy him back? Entrepreneurship 3. My buddy Chet has a small business. It's a startup where he finds old buildings and upcycles all the copper wire from the walls. Chet loves making a difference in his community. A goat sitter, abortion patient educator, sound tech photographer, and copy editor walk into a bar. And the bartender says, hey, do you need another job? And they say, nah, maybe next week? Oh, you think so, huh? Yeah, I'll be done remodeling my boss's website by then, just as long as it's before farm sitting and after writing my manifesto. The bartender shook his head. When you came out as non-binary, you realized it wasn't required to be multiple people, right? Anyway, what's your dream job? They laugh in ADHD and says, I'll get to that later. My fortune cookie accurately, predi accurately predicted my gerbil's death and now I'm afraid. It wasn't vague or cryptic either. Popsy will suffer a fatal heart attack at 3.52 p.m. on November 19th, 2022. And the back had an ad for the world's smallest crematorium. <laughs>